Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something very special for you because it's a project I've been working on for a while. If you remember at all, I used to have an editable planner that you could use in Keynote to create your very own dream planner to customize it exactly the way you wanted it. And then as the time went by and I had more and more practice creating digital planners, I realized that I could improve that template a lot. So it hasn't been available for the past months, but what I bring you today is a completely brand new redesigned template that you can use in Keynote to create your perfect digital planner. Okay, so this is a super complete template. It has way more features than the one that I previously published. So it's gonna take a while to go through all of the things that you can edit and teach you exactly how to do everything. In this first video, I will give you an overview of what's included. There's a lot of templates included. I have set up all of the masters for you guys. It can literally take you as little as a few minutes to edit the whole planner. So today we're gonna take a look at everything that's included. And in my following videos, I will actually start teaching you how to edit every one of the features in the planner. All right, so let's start. Okay, so here I have my editable planner. This is the finished PDF version that you will also be able to access. And I just want to show you how the planner, how the finished planner works and looks right now. But of course you can edit everything from it. You can change the colors, you can change the size of objects, you can add more elements. And of course you can change all the words, the tabs, anything you want, okay? so. This is the first page in the planner and I call it a welcome page and I just added, you know, my planner 2021 and then here you can write your name. However, you can also switch this page out completely and you will see in my following videos what you can do here. But so this is your first page other than your cover page. And remember, everything's fully hyperlinked here. So I'm just gonna go to my big view so you can see a little better, okay? And so when I click on a month, that particular month is going to open. And this planner also has the weeks linked. So if I tap on these buttons on the right of each week, that week will open. Another awesome feature about this planner is, as you can see, the tab is selected. So I know where in the planner I am. Since that's done for you in the Keynote file, then it's gonna save you a ton of time. This design, of course, is very plain. I'm using a basic font, but the idea is that you change it and customize it however you need it or want it. So you have your months with their weeks, right? And then I'm gonna skip all the way to December. And after December, let me go to the last week of December here. And the next page is completely blank. This is gonna be your first customizable section. Here you just have a number one, but of course you will be able to add whichever label you want here. As you can see, the tabs light up depending where you are. So you have five more sections here at the top and you get 10 sections on the side that you can also label and use however you want. Now the actual PDF file, the one I'm showing you right now, it, most of it comes blank other than your months and weeks because where you get all of the templates included with this editable planner is in the Keynote file and I will show you that in a little bit. But for now, I want to close this version of the planner. So you get two versions. This is a regular editable planner. But if you have experience in Keynote and you feel confident, then you can try and go for the daily version of the planner. And I'll show you what the difference is. So your cover page is the same. All of the layouts look exactly the same. Even the tabs up here and on the side, they look the same. But when you go to your monthly spread, the difference here is that every day in the planner is linked to its own page. So if I tap on the top right corner of any day, I'm going to open a daily spread. Then from here, you can also navigate to the weeks, of course. And then these weekly spreads also link to those days. So when I tap on Monday, a daily spread is going to open. Then I go back to my week in January and then I go to a Wednesday, etc. This is not dated, obviously. And this is just a template added to the Keynote file. You can decide whether to use it. There's a second daily option included. And I, again, I will show you all of this in a minute but you can create your own and every daily page is already linked. So all you have to do is go to your templates, update the daily page and all of the days will have whichever template you want. But yeah, so that's the basic difference between the daily version of the planner and the regular one. 
also know that of course because this is a daily planner it has way more pages than the other version so the regular version has 101 pages included and the daily one has 605 pages so the size grows a lot of the finished file just so you know the regular file is 8 megabytes you can totally upload that anywhere but the daily page will take up a lot more space just so you know okay so this was the pdf files of the planner but now I want to show you what the Keynote file looks like. So I'm just going to open Keynote. I already have my two versions of the planner added here. And to get them in here, of course, right after downloading, you just export them into Keynote and you should be able to see them here. And I'm just going to focus on the regular version of the planner first, because if you understand how this file works, then you will definitely be able to edit the daily one. The daily one can be a little bit overwhelming to start with. As I said, it's a ton of pages. So it's just better to start with this other one, which is already amazing. It has a lot of customization potential, but it's a little simpler to use. Okay, so now as you can see, I have the exact same planner, but this time I can edit it because this is the original file in Keynote. Keep an eye out for my following video because I will start teaching you how to edit every single bit of this planner. But for now, what I want you to see is all of the things that are already included, all of the features and options you get with this original file. So the first thing I want to mention is that everything is neatly labeled so you're always aware of where you are. First of all, you have the tabs that I mentioned that are selected here. So you have the tab for January and if you skip all the way to March then you'll have that light up so you know where you are but as you can see you also have a label up here I'm not sure you can see it in the camera but it says week so you know that this is a spread for a week so if you go to your masters and accidentally delete this you will be able to see in your regular pages that this was supposed to be a master for a week your monthly spread also says month and it says it's the third month you know I just really try to make it the easiest for you to know where everything is, how everything works, and so you don't get confused. So now I want to go check out all of the included pages. So I'm gonna click on where it says edit, and I'm just gonna tap on any slide to go to edit master slide to open my masters. And if you haven't checked out my video on how to create a digital planner from scratch in Keynote, I highly recommend that you check that out because it goes through all of the basics of Keynote and how the linking and the pages work. So that's just gonna help you even if you're not starting from scratch because you have this amazing template that was built for you already, but that will help you understand some of the things that you need to understand when using Keynote. All right, so I'm gonna go to my first master and this is just a sign telling you do not delete the masters right under this first master, okay? So that's not being used, but the ones below it are, I have my background color, I have my page, I have my monthly spreads, my weekly spreads, and my daily spreads, which in this case is only relevant for the daily version of the planner. Right now, we're only gonna focus on the months and weeks, those are the ones that are added throughout the planner. But if you keep going here in your masters, you'll see that you have a ton of other spreads that have already been created for you. And all you have to do is choose whichever you like. It's so many of them, I can't even show you all. You have hourly spreads, you have daily options, um, you have different grid papers that you can use. You even have other types of spreads like an expenses or bills tracker. It's a lot that is included and all of this is completely editable. So if you want to go, you can just double tap on any element and then change the font, change the text. You can change the color and customize this to exactly how you want it. And another awesome thing of this planner is that I have also included the dates in a format that is going to be super easy for you to just copy and paste on your months. So if you want to have your planner dated, it's going to be a breeze adding all of the dates to all of the months. Again, keep an eye out for my following videos where I will show you step by step how to start doing that. All right, guys, so that's it for this preview video of the editable digital planner for Keynote. I'm going to leave this link below if you want to check it out at the shop. And in the following videos that I will be publishing, I will teach you tips and tricks. So even if you don't have this template, you will still be able to learn a lot and start creating your own digital planner in Keynote on the iPad. If you have any questions, drop me a comment below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and click on the bell so you know when the new video is published. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.